Hello there. I'll try and make this review as brief as possible because I'm pretty tired and it's late. Um, I'm here to review uh, New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. Now, DS Lite, yeah, not that fucking shit DS. And uh, I'll just get the case one second. <coughs> yep, here's your case. You got New Super Mario Brothers. Uh, yeah, you got a little skimpy booklet on the inside and your little cartridge case. Yeah, very nice. But strangely, we've gone for the American cover. Um, it's very odd, because usually we go for European covers, my country. <coughs> and you're on the game itself. Uh, I'll just open it. You get a nice little intro by Mario himself. I'll just turn off this fucking light. Okay. So basically, uh, there hasn't been a Mario game in fucking, I don't know, 50 odd years. And, oh fuck, shut up! And uh, when it was on, people loved it, but, you know, they stopped the whole 2D platforming and people started to get very pissed off. But guess what? Now it's back. Um, so I'll tap to a world right here. Uh, one second. Okay, as you can see, the worlds look very cute and innocent. And uh, that's how they want you to think when you figure out how hard this fucking game can get. So I'm just going to go here. I hope you can see that on the screen. Yep. Okay. Now... <laughs> yep, very fucking basic. Very fun. Just, you know, that's it. And you think, wow, this is awesome, this game. This is to be the greatest game I've ever played in my life. Oh, too bad, doesn't matter. You start off like that. Now, as you move through the game, it gets harder and fucking harder. Now, the map is really retarded. Like, instead of going one, two, Still going one, oh, that's fucked up. Instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it just takes a path like that. To unlock these worlds, you have to do all these secret shit. You know, I, I imagine I unlocked that one, but I haven't unlocked world seven. Oh, fuck, who gives a shit? Now, like I said, the worlds are very well designed. And they're all clever, and they really get you thinking. Unlike, yes, and it mixes all types of elements. So, as I mentioned, this game gets fucking harder as it goes along. This will be a fucking nightmare soon. Say I got, I don't know, World, uh, World, uh, World 8. This is when the shit gets really hard. I mean, just look at this. You have to see it to believe it. Now, I'm just running along here. Yes, yes, very... Oh, fuck, what was that? What was that? Oh, my God, and then you have to restart all over again. And it doesn't get any better than that, believe me. So, you know, it gets really hard. you got things dropping out of the sky. Oh, fuck, shit! God damn you! Now, boss battles, I mean, they're... F oh, fuck! No, it's because I'm not watching the screen, but they're really... Boss battles, they're really piss easy, like, it'll only take a few hits, and they're gone, so, you know. Boss battles, they haven't really put much into it, but it's challenging enough, I reckon. In case you haven't noticed, there are a lot of power-ups in this game, and by doing that, you... So if I just go over here, for instance... Faggot stops th throwing that shit! Okay, I'm just gonna go over here. And you hit you hit the bottom of the screen, and you get this big-ass mushroom. Now, you're a big fucking Mario. You're just smashing shit. You're killing shit. You don't give a shit. You're at... You're... Oh. Sometimes it really gets frustrating because they're quite pointless. Grr! So what more can I say about the game? It's very good, but you know later stages in the game will cause you serious psychological harm because it's just mocking you. It looks childish, but it's not. Believe me, it's not. Now as well as having a great single player campaign, you've also got these little mini games. And these, you know, these are really fun. Yeah, we see that you so if I got a one player, you got all types of action, puzzle, and table. Now if I pick action, it's very similar to what you saw in um, Super Mario 64. Yeah, right. Same star from Super Mario 64, and you just, you know, it's fun. It's very fun stuff. In conclusion, New Super Mario Brothers is quite a good deal for your money. You're getting, like, the mini games are good, but then, you know, it's not worth the whole game itself. But the campaign's great. All in all, I give it 9 out of 10. Very fun, addictive. But later on, harder stages, it gets very hard.